What is popping, y'all? Hope you're doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. So, Christina, where are we at today? Uh, a reptile expo. I've never been to a reptile expo. I've been to a few different expos, but never a reptile one. Super excited about it. I don't think we're going to get too much of anything. Maybe rats. some crickets, rats. rats and crickets. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're getting. So we are getting some stuff, but maybe we'll find something we can't live without today. Oh, you never know. Snake? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> no snake, but you never know. We'll see what we can run into. That thing is crazy. I used to have some of these. He's a black and white Argentine tank. His name's Romeo. That thing is cool yeah, looking. The whole thing. You heard of it. <laughs> that thing is cool. <laughs> I didn't film a whole lot in the expo, but I got this giant freaking tank. Let me show you. <laughs> What? Eh, it is what it is. I wheeled and dealed for her. We got her a new tank for her crested gecko. A little sit at the house. He's about to have a girlfriend. Hopefully sooner than later. And we wanted to get a bigger tank for him. So. That's like half the width of your car. I don't know if it's going to fit between them. Yeah, hold on. I have to figure it out. We also got this thing. This thing's pretty cool. It like suctions to the wall of of that and then has a little feeder spot in it and everything and then Lenore got let me show you it's a hissing cockroach check out this layout we have in here oh man <laughs> well the tank got to ride passenger and we have the three students in the back back to the house now this is Sid's new enclosure as you can see it's definitely it's a lot bigger because this is what he has now so this is Sid's original enclosure this is his new enclosure cool thing is it has these doors that swing out so you can close that take these little pens and puts it up there this right here turns locks it pretty cool but uh yeah that opens up this top part here it's like a screen it opens up as well the back part here opens up got the cool uh little background there and then it comes with this piece of plastic here that you can actually put in right there so heck to the yes we're gonna be uh transporting him from over here over to here we got a bunch of uh peat moss and all kinds of other stuff that we're going to be putting in here getting it all set up for him so heck to the yes but i'll come back to y'all once we get this thing done finished or really close to being finished and when we get ready to transfer him over to his new house so here it is it uh we got this up here for him this right here came out of his old house this right here was an old house that leaf is in the old house this is all new we got all the moss and stuff going down through here. Sid's back there hiding. <laughs> so he has his little house down there. We got the isopods and stuff in here. Sid's out there checking it out. It's pretty cool. What are you putting in here now? What are these things again? Springtail isopods. All right, so springtail so isopods. Can, it's hard to see. They're tiny little white, like bugs. Huh. And I just fed them. You said they kind of help keep it clean in here? Yeah, they actually eat like all the poo and all of that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So it doesn't smell and it keeps them clean. Okay. So these things are just so give it a little, easy and that's to charcoal. take care of. Yeah, it's charcoal and a little bit of water. And you literally just have to... Sprinkle it out through there. That's cool. Sprinkle some in there. And the nice thing is, is these things reproduce like crazy. So, so a little bit goes a long way. Yep. As long as you feed them once in a while and keep them wet. Oh, yeah. You can see like little white little like right white. there. Yep. Sid's up on his house over there. He's like, he's like, I'm used to this house, but what the heck is everything else in here? Like I said, we added this right here, this uh, piece of wood. Uh, what, what kind of, that, I know there's like a name for that wood. For what? The wood, what kind of wood is that? Driftwood. Driftwood, that's what it is. So we got a piece of driftwood in here. We got all the moss over here. So it kind of gives it multiple elements. Um, then we got all the isopods. This is where his food will go. So you take this little cup here. Once we feed him, we'll put it in there like so. Heck to the yes. But he's up there just chilling. Sid, what do you think, buddy? You like it? What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah. These are the new things that we got at the, um, do you remember what they're called? They're soldier fly larvae. Okay, cool. So, so we're going to see if he likes the them. Calcium, whatever. These are really high in calcium. So usually when you feed them crickets, you have to roll them or toss them in like calcium powder. 
So these apparently... You don't have to, I think you said, right? So cool. Do you want to put them in the cup? Nice. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, cool. We'll Here see we go. if he'll eat them out of he, the he, he ate one of the crickets that was just chilling, that was hiding in the other yeah, tank. Yeah, a lot of times so. they will just... Oh, man. He's probably like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So I'm hoping he'll come over here. And start eating them out of that cup. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they can get out of that cup because they don't have a lip it on this one. It doesn't have a lip on it, yeah. But he'll still find them. Where you at, buddy? He's hiding back there. <laughs> and I figured he would hide back in that little I cubby. I want to get something moving in front of him. And yeah, see. maybe. Is he going to eat it? Oh, did he just eat it? I seen his tongue did go out. eat it already? I don't know. Put one back there again and see if he eats it. Okay, there it is. See if he's going to eat it. He's like, ah, no thanks. We don't know if he actually is going to eat these or enjoy them, but if he doesn't, worst comes to worst, we'll go get him some more crickets, and we will uh, put him some crickets in there. So, he's, this is cool, look at this. He's uh, investigating. He's like, what is this? This is driftwood. That's what that's called, Sid, driftwood. You're on some of that right now. Go ahead and keep climbing. Climb, buddy, climb. You can do it. He's like, oh no, the camera's on me. I'm not moving anymore. <laughs> oh, where are you going? This thing is cool as heck. All right, so this is uh, this is something right here. We got midnight <laughs> right here in the front seat. We got a hissing cockroach over there. We got a hooker in the back, <laughs> and we got Lenora with the spider named. Or what's the spider's name? Fluffy. Oh, we got Fluffy, and then the cockroach's name is Harold. I guess. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. Not Harold. Not Harold. <laughs> All in all though, what a combination of freaking characters we got here. All right, so we didn't film a whole lot of the expo and stuff like that today, but we're going Instacart now. We got our Instacart actual card. And so uh, they gave us more stores to shop at and we got two items. So I have a shopping cart, Christine has a shopping cart. So we're our two batches. So for two different people's orders. So we're doing this. So I got a cart, she has a cart. Pretty freaking cool. But I don't think I'm gonna film too much of it. Uh, I just wanted to pick you guys up and let you guys know like what the heck's going on and kind of keep you guys updated with the day. So fun fact, we got all the shopping done, but you have to still scan them in and ring them out and everything separately, which is kind of cool. I, I was expecting, honestly, you do it all together. So here it is. We're going to get to this part of the video now, I guess. We're going to start juicing some stuff. We got some lemons over there and we got some ginger in the fridge. But this thing is actually pretty freaking cool. I took it apart already once. This right here, you take that off, you unscrew this. This just kind of holds it all together. This right here is cool. This right here is the no pulp filter. We got a no pulp filter, a some pulp filter, and then all the pulp filter. I'm not a pulp fan. But anyway, you take this big drill thing out here. This thing's pretty wild. Um, but to put it back together, you just push that back in. You pick your filter you want slide it in like so this is a little little lever thing going on down here so here blocks off the juice from coming out after you're done and before you juice you open that up you got your little thing that you throw it in here and and then you got to make sure this little ninja part is up so when you go go like that turn it the ninja parts up this part here turns and you're good to go I'm excited for this. All right, y'all. So we got the juicer all set up. We got this thing here that pushes the fruits and vegetables in there. I guess it just pounds them on in there and then it juices it on out. Anyways, though, we got the lemons fresh. No, I don't know how fresh, actually fresh they are, but we got those. And then we got some ginger. Heck to the yes. I've actually never bought ginger. Have you ever actually just went to the store and bought ginger before? No. Well, well first for everything. I have. Yes, I have. I have done it and i've graded it for a couple baking recipes oh nice so what it says to do is in this recipe that we're making what she's doing now is she's reading the recipe over here and i guess we have to peel these oranges or oranges the lemons we have to peel them somehow i've never i don't know i've never just peeled and i'm not that i don't know i don't eat fruit and vegetables but uh yeah this is a little little guy okay this these look a little bit rough Hopefully, hopefully they're fresh. Yeah, the peels not going in, so. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really eat this kind of stuff. like two lemons for one. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Shut up. Eww. Oh, a little rough. Hey, I, I called that. That is a rough lemon. All right, this lemon doesn't look as bad. I'll try this one. 
you uh, you can cut it in half, I guess, and then you just cut around it like that. Yes. So you go like this. Mm. I've never. I've literally never done this. I'm different like the pickiest than, eater ever. Different than peeling an orange. Well, yeah, oranges they just kind of peel themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, not really, but I think I've done that before, just messing around with one. Yeah. So you can't put that part in yeah, the not. juicer. To be honest with you, I've never actually felt the ginger, I don't think, by itself. It's kind of squishy. It's like a, it is a root, but I've never, like, just felt it by itself. It's kind of weird. Looks cool. This is probably plenty of ginger, I would say. Maybe? Maybe not? I think that's... This is hard to still so got this out. Oh, okay. 4.9. Since we're going to double it, we need 8 ounces total, technically. Ten. Or 10 ounces, okay. This might be the whole bag. That's not even enough. <laughs> we had fun. That's a lot of ginger, I thought, too. Switched it over to grams. We need 300 grams. Oh, well, not there yet. Come on, little buddy. 330, too much. So we got this little piece right here, though. Let's see this little guy right here is this gonna be too That's much not, not enough <laughs> super That's close really though close. we'll go with it oh no we have a man <laughs> down man down she has cut her finger on well good thing you didn't get no blood on anything but no but lemon i felt the guy <laughs> lemon juice in it and it <laughs> oh i would say so i don't know if you ever got taught this but you're not supposed to cut towards yourself or your finger you're supposed okay, to cut away you you do that then. I bet yeah. you would have chopped your whole finger off. <laughs> probably would have. Probably would have <laughs> I would have probably cut my hand off somehow. So like I said, we're doubling up the recipe. We're five grams away, so we're just going to roll with that. We're doubling up the orange, uh, why do I keep calling it? Lemons, not oranges. We're doubling up those. So this could literally make what we think it's going to make, or it's going to make an excessive amount. And then we won't have to make any more of next week. Hey, there we go. All in all though, we're about to find out. We're going to run all this hey there you go we're about to run it through this bad boy right here now you have to peel the ginger mm -hmm. oh that's kind of cool so you just use a potato peeler yeah. back to the yeah uh, i didn't know if you could just peel it with your hand or whatever it is it's easier to do it like this because then cool. you get as little of it off as possible you get all the keep all the goodness just in just getting yeah nice what's that i said have you ever smelled fresh ginger no it's peeled oh that's that cleaning smell that I, I smell. <laughs> so when I do the ginger shots, I'm like, it smells like a cleaning product. And that is, that's what it is. I always thought it was the lemon. I thought it was the lemon that gave it that scent. That's crazy. Moment of truth. We got everything cut up. We got everything peeled. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's time for juicing. Okay, so we'll take this off. You just touch the on button and it'll start spinning, okay? So we take the ginger and put it in first. When we take this and push it down. Okay. Oh. So the juice is, there goes the juice in there. And then the not juice is over there. That's crazy. What the heck? That's actually quite a bit of juice. I'm so glad that we got this. This thing is we cool. We've been talking about it for a while. Yeah. We actually got this on a good deal too. Uh, we, we got it for 50 bucks. It's originally $109 before taxes. And it's crazy because this is the one that I was wanting to get. Yeah. to get before we even saw that they were on. That's so crazy. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Let me, do the, let me do the lemons. Let me do, do the, the lemons? lemons. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm doing the lemons. I've never done this before, so I'm kind of excited. And you don't really have to push that hard. It kind of just... Look at that. <laughs> just pack it in there. It says two inch pieces, so I just put all this in there and then push yeah. this right down there like that just to kind of give it some weight. Look at that. Holy nice. moly. I'm loving it already. That's pretty cool. That's and look at all that. Look Ew. at all that. Ew. Ew. I guess people use the pulp for different recipes and stuff. So you can actually take the pulp and you can reprocess it and or re reuse it, I guess. So yeah, reprocess, I guess is the right word. Uh, repurpose is repurpose is what I was trying to say. So yeah. Oh snap, look at this. That's nasty. All the nasty stuff inside. Show them in the camera. Look at this. Bring it up here. Ugh. Pulp. That's disgusting. It, it looks this is gonna sound really gross, but it looks like nasty. the hair you pull out of the shower drain. drain. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It made eight ounces. 
So eight that's ounces. Actually, it's so, four. Yeah, because four four ginger shots. Yeah, because we do two ounce yeah. ginger shots. So so that recipe that we made okay, is for two. It's for two, Good but time. we doubled it up. So heck to the yes. So we have them ready for tomorrow. Let's go. So the recipe that she found said put pepper in it or stir pepper in it. I was like, no. When I'm at the place, I never see them put pepper in it. So she's doing pepper, and then she's also gonna do a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna do a little bit of turmeric on mine. This is what she's doing right here, the zinger shot. She put the cayenne pepper in there. Oh boy, so. Cause I like everything spicy. Yeah, I'm going to, how do you open this up? This way? Okay, a little bit goes a long way, I guess they say with this. Just a, just a tap. That's probably plenty. Okay. I don't think it is, but. You don't think so? I think it'll be fine. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. All right. Oh, it smells just like a ginger shot. Yes. I'm so nervous, though, because we made these, and I'm not used to this. We'll let her try it first. So I, she, what do you think? Oh. Oh, it's good. With that cayenne pepper. Oh. Those are, whoa. That's Spicy, mine was spicy too. <laughs> Woo! I don't know you what made it so spicy. I know, but I don't know what made it so spicy, but that's the spiciest ginger shot I've ever that had in my life. Definitely a lot stronger than we've ever had. I don't know what makes it that spicy. I don't know if it's too Fire much ginger. In the belly. I don't know if it was too much ginger, not enough lemon. What it was. It was even less ginger than what it said though. So <laughs> That's, that was that was something that lit me up. Um, but Ooh. here's the thing: is that one also said pepper in it, so I wonder if that was for to dumb it down a little bit. And that was supposed to have black pepper and turmeric in it. I'm um, holy moly! Ooh. I need a water. Ooh. What does it say on there? This <laughs> for this one, it mm -hmm. literally says two lemons. Two whole lemons. Two lemons and only a two inch piece of ginger. <laughs> we definitely put way too much ginger in this. It said five Ooh. ounces. Of I think ginger. I think that recipe is a liar. You find that on freaking Pinterest? Yes. Yeah, that's the problem right there. <laughs> Pinterest people. A bunch of waterheads over there on Pinterest. He's over here showing me different ones, and I'm like, hell with Pinterest. Just pull up Google and okay. see what they say. Ginger shot recipe. Five ounces of that. So we did ten. Or whatever, we doubled that up. So holy moly, <sighs> my whole mouth is still on fire. You didn't even have cayenne pepper in yours. I don't care. I feel like I'm gonna die though. <laughs> Literally, it's like I just ate laundry detergent. <laughs> like my, I'm burning. Whew. Oh, this is great. What? Okay, what does this one say? I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. All right, we're looking. We're looking, guys. Okay, what's this one say? Um. One pound? <laughs> These people are on crack this cocaine. This make a lot. Cause One freaking pound? Let's see how much this makes, though. Let's oh, my lordy. We ain't, we ain't making one pound of ginger. That's my nose. My nose, my throat, my head. I feel like I'm going to fall over. <laughs> this juicer, maybe I should have just hit it in the aisle and said, I don't see anything in the aisle because this thing might have been the worst decision of my life. And I thought it was going to be the best. Oh, there's a little bit this left in there. This makes eight Doesn't to make... ten servings. And that calls for a pound of ginger. <sighs> no thanks. Do like one serving, I don't even know, one ginger shot. The best ginger shots. Here okay, we here we go. Using a juicer. Oh, boy. Oh, well, whatever we just had was not the best ginger shot I've ever had. Okay, so this is four servings. Okay, so it's going It's four. only a quarter, a quarter of a cup of ginger root. We <laughs> used <laughs> are that. you that's what i'm saying i knew something was wrong something that was my lips are on fire <laughs> oh, i feel fine but we I'm literally just ate fight. half of a ginger like half the tree probably of ginger <laughs> this, i don't even know if it is a tree i'm so delusional right now i had so much ginger i feel like i'm gonna die my lips are on fire my throat's on fire my head's on fire he's dramatic i might be it dramatic was strong, but that but... was that's rough i still feel it <laughs> how it's in my lip <laughs> Taking the water bottle and putting it against there. <laughs> you need to go scrub your lips. I don't know. I, I don't know. That stuff's rough. 
I don't know what we need to add to that, but that needs to well, be something. Well, this one is interesting because it's a quarter of a cup of ginger root, four lemons, a quarter cup of coconut water, and a teaspoon of honey or maple syrup, and cayenne seen pepper. Oh, man. We're going to find one that's better than that. I, if I have to go to the damn juice store and ask them how they make theirs, I will do it because that, that was rough. So I'm over here, and I just Googled on this thing, how much ginger is too much per day? And it says you should not do any more than four grams of ginger. So let's go in here and have a conversation with good old Christina. Christina, question for you. How much ginger did we just consume today? About 40 grams probably, um, well, <laughs> give or take. We use... <laughs> We're supposed to do four grams. No more than four grams. And how much did we put Do you in there? Do have any heart problems? <laughs> well, yeah, we have. Well, Do you have how any much, heart problems? Not yet, but Do maybe after today. <laughs> maybe after today I will be. Question though, how much did we put in there? We had three, <laughs> 300 grams almost. 295 yes, grams. that by four. <laughs> so about roughly 75 grams, give or take. And we're supposed to take no more than four grams a day. We did 75. We're done for. We're dead. We're dead. Great. She has heart problems. She's going to die. If anybody's going to go, she says. Can I have that brush? Yeah, I can get you the brush. I'll clean this for you before I keel over. <laughs> She's going to clean the juicer at least until you can. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Also, this part comes off. I don't know if you know this, but this part comes off as well. Yeah, you want to take that off for me? Yeah, I guess I will. So you guys right here. Hold on. Stay there, guys. Don't fall over. Woo. Listen. Here you go. Here you go. If either of us die, I'm sorry. I yeah. just follow the recipe. You heard it here first. If you guys don't see a vlog tomorrow, <laughs> you know what happened. I consumed, I consumed well, literally like 70 percent too much 70 grams of they're not even going to see this because that means you didn't upload it well great this is probably for tomorrow well whoever sees this clip make sure you guys tell my create or my uh my uh fans and followers and subscribers and everybody in the world that christina killed, christina killed me <laughs> with i'm only supposed to have four grams of uh ginger and i had at least 74 i followed 70... the recipe I had 71 at least over grams that I wasn't supposed did to have. Did I not follow the recipe? I don't know what you did. I showed you the recipe. <laughs> I don't know what she did. Wow. All in all, though, I know I have 71% or 71 grams more than what my body is supposed to have <laughs> of ginger in it right now. I better end this, guys, and enjoy the rest of my night because I don't know how much more time I have left. <laughs> this is crazy. All in all, though, make sure hit the like button, hit the subscribe. And like I always say, keep on keeping on. Don't let them bring it down. See you tomorrow. Peace.